What's up everybody, Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to talk to the brand new real estate agents out there. I wanna give you like a step-by-step -step video here to help you realize what you should be thinking about, what you shouldn't be thinking about, and everything in between. Okay, I'm on a mission to help reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry, and I'm doing that one agent at a time. I'm getting messages all the time from new agents and experienced agents telling me that they were about to quit the business until they found me somewhere online, somewhere on my YouTube, somewhere on my Instagram, my free coaching program, whatever it was, they found me somewhere, they started to digest the content, they started to build their business the correct way, valuing people over transactions, building a database full of people that would do business with them for the rest of their life and refer everyone they know to them. And then what happens? Those referrals start referring you people. And now you're getting referrals from referrals from referrals. And that's how you build a business that's gonna survive any market downturn, anything that happens, your business is gonna to continue to flourish year over year over year over year. Why? Because you're building a database. And what happens when the market crashes? Uh, transactions go down a little bit, they never go to zero. That's one thing I want you to realize, transactions never go to zero. But what never goes away are people. People are still here regardless of what the market does and they're always needing and wanting to buy and sell real estate, to live in, to upgrade, to invest in, so on and so forth. So before I get started, I wanna share another video with you. When you get through watching this one, I made a really incredible video, it was about a year or so back, and it was the 10 reasons why real estate agents fail. And it was a really good video. I really want you to go watch it and let me know what you think about it in the comments. Shoot me a comment on this video, hit that like button, and let me know what videos you want me to make in the future. Also, if you haven't joined the fastest growing real estate coaching program in the world, okay, this is legit, we're over 30,000 real estate agents and counting by 50 to 100 every day are signing up for zero to diamond. Okay, there's a 90 day action plan, scripts, videos of me making calls, and there's a 28 day challenge where you get texted. You get texted every day at seven o'clock in your time zone, a video with your daily challenge for 28 straight days. It's an incredible program. Thousands of agents have doubled and tripled their income using this. So go to zero to diamond.com, create a free account, and get started today. Now let's get into this, okay? We're day one in real estate, day one in the business. What do we do? Which direction do we go in? Everybody's pulling in so many different directions, okay? Everybody's trying to tell us what's the best thing to do. You got Facebook ads telling you to buy this program and buy that program and it's a very confusing and frustrating world we're living in right now. When I started in real estate in 2002, there was no Facebook, <laughs> there was no social media, there wasn't all this stuff going on. There was, a, there was some stuff going on, there were definitely some people trying to sell you some stuff, but it wasn't like it is today. Today it's in your face, it's annoying, and really it, it's, it's kind of sad to be honest with you because the value that most of those programs are bringing you are literally nothing. <laughs> They're bringing you zero value. That's why I started coaching for free because I saw that all these paid coaches were out there literally giving you zero value and I said, you know what? I'm gonna give the industry 10 times more value than any paid coach out there for free. And then what's gonna happen? I will become the number one coach in the industry. And what is happening? We are in process of me becoming the top coach in the industry. What makes me feel like I can become the top coach? Why do I have all this confidence and credibility? It's because I've been in the business for 18 years now, and for the last six years going on seven, I've closed over 100 deals as a single agent every single year, okay? I went through the crash, I lost everything, I learned what I needed to learn, I wrote a book about it, okay? And now here I am, right? I made it, I lost it, then it took me six years to make it back, to 100 deals a year, then I did that for three years before I even thought about writing a book or becoming a coach. Most coaches have been in the business one year or never even was in the business. They've sold 19 properties and now they're selling you $500 courses. 
it's insane, okay? So that's why I'm here. I'm here to save your life and tell you what you really need to know about the industry and you can trust that I'm telling you the truth because I'm not charging you. And when you guys get through with that 90 day action plan, shoot me an email at ricky at zero to diamond.com and you will get a call with me and I wanna talk about the 90 days, what happened, your successes, your problems, and where you wanna be in five years so I can help you visualize what you need to be doing day to day to get there. Now, day one in the industry, let's get back to day one. I get sidetracked here guys, getting excited about all the stuff going on. So day one in the business, what do we do? Okay, with all these things getting shot at you, most agents come into the business and they feel like they don't know which way to go. There's so many things, so many different avenues to, to try to build your business. So they never really, they dabble in eight to 10 things, maybe even 15 to 20 things, and they never really commit to one thing. They never really give one thing a chance. They never really find out what works and what doesn't work because they got bills to pay. Their bills are coming in, they get scared, they do something for two weeks. It's not really looking like something's gonna do, Happen, there's no deals that are happening, so they move to something else. Where if they would have just stuck with that thing for longer than two weeks, maybe a month or two months, they would have got a little momentum going on and they end up just dabbling in a few things and end up having to quit the business. So what I wanna do is I wanna help you visualize the top two or three or four things that you need to focus on, okay, to get that momentum going in your business fast. The first thing you need to do every day when you come to the office, okay, we're gonna check our emails and everything and kind of get our day organized. That's what I do every day. I get my day organized, I make a list, I prioritize, I get my appointments in order, all right? But what I want you to do immediately after that is I want you to study your MLS for a good 15 to 30 minutes, something like that. And what I want you to start watching first are the hot sheet items, the new listings, the pending sales, the withdrawals, the expireds, and the closed deals. I want you to watch that every day for months and months and months. And when you start watching the hot sheet, you're gonna start to just subconsciously know the market. You're gonna be so on top of the market. You're gonna have all this market knowledge in your head that a lot of people don't have. A lot of agents don't have this market knowledge because they're not watching the hot sheet. I'm not watching the hot sheet anymore because I'm too busy closing deals and appointments and phone calls, right? But as a new agent, you have this time on your hands to actually study this and actually be sharper than experienced agents out there veteran agents out there. You have this advantage over these experienced agents because you have time. You have extra time to do things that experienced agents do not have time to do. And I wanna continue this conversation about time because when you're talking to a potential prospect and a client, you know, and they ask you, how many properties have you sold? How long have you been in the business? I want you to look them straight in the eye and I want you to tell them, none. I haven't sold any properties. I've only been in the business for a month and that is why you want me to be your agent because I am gonna take your deal and work eight hours a day on just your deal. Okay, if you want an agent that sells 100 properties a year, if you want Ricky, go down the road and get Ricky and ask Ricky to his face if he's gonna make your deal his main priority, number one priority, and spend eight hours a day on just your deal. I guarantee you that he cannot do that doing so much volume. On the other hand, I, as a new agent, can. Okay, so I kinda, I kinda walked you through that conversation. You can condense that down to whatever dialogue you wanna use for that, but basically, you need to let them understand that you're gonna work day and night to help them make this a smooth transaction for them, and you're gonna do very, very good for them on this deal. At the end of the day, guys, people just want agents to be confident. They want them to be confident, honest, and hardworking, dependable, right? That is it. That's what they want, okay? You don't have to know everything. Everything's at our fingertips. We can look up something in a heartbeat, right? People ask me stuff all the time. What do I do? Well, hold on. Bah, 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 bah. Then, I, then I was like, okay, yeah, it's this. So don't feel like you have to know everything. Just be confident in who you are, that you're gonna stand behind your work ethic, your dependability, and your confidence. 
So the first thing we're gonna do as a real estate agent is we're gonna make a list of our sphere, okay? We're gonna make a list of our sphere, something I did not do as a new agent. The reason I didn't do it is because I didn't wanna come across salesy to people I knew. I didn't want them to feel awkward or not be my friend anymore because I tried to sell them something. Um, and I also knew that if I couldn't sell people I didn't know, I wasn't gonna survive in real estate anyway. So I wanted to go straight to the source. I wanted to go straight to people that I don't know and see if I could win in that department. That was a big mistake. It took me eight months to make my first sale. Okay, so if I would have done what I'm fixing to tell you, then I could have made sales a lot sooner and got some momentum going in the business. And then before I knew it, I could have started selling, you know, within a couple months instead of eight months. Yeah, it's all in the past. The history is history. I'm good now. But looking back, I would have done it a little differently. So this is what we're going to do with our sphere. When we get these, this list and these numbers, we're just going to call them. We're going to say, hey, it's Ricky. How you doing? How you been? Right, that's most of the script right there. We just wanna get the conversation going. Now when we're talking to our sphere, we have several objectives in mind here, okay? Uh, one, we want to you know, see how they're doing, you know, get the conversation going. The purpose of that is to start to learn how to talk to people. Right, they're gonna feel comfortable with you, you're gonna feel comfortable with them when you start learning how to talk. And you start thinking in your mind that, you know, pretend like this is a prospect, someone you don't know, okay? And we want to try to create that same feeling where they're comfortable and we're comfortable uh, when we're talking to strangers. So the way that we're talking to people we know, we need to start to get that feeling where, you know, the tone of our voice, the speed of our voice, you know, the calmness, everything is gonna line up exactly when we're talking to people that we don't know. Also, another objective is, is that we might get a deal out of this. Okay, so we're practicing, we're practicing learning how to talk on the phone and get a conversation going back and forth, right? And we're also possibly going to pick up a deal or so. Okay, a third objective is, is to get their contact information. If we don't already have their email and cell phone number, we want to get that information because we're going to build our personal brand and our sphere is going to be the beginning of our database. And the size of your database is going to dictate the size of your income. Now, once we've talked to them and we've got the conversation going and everything, at some point in the conversation, we're gonna say, hey, you know, I just got in real estate recently and I didn't know if there's anything I could do to help you there. Or, hey, I just got in real estate recently, I didn't know if I could help you there in any kind of way. Okay, we're just throwing it out there very loosely, very relaxedly, very comfortable. Okay, and we just throw it out there, see what happens. Regardless of what they say, okay, they say they want to buy or sell, they're thinking about buying or selling. If they say that, we're gonna say, oh good, is there an agent that you're working with on that? Okay, so we wanna establish right here, right now, where we are in this process, right? Where they are in it, where we stand in it, okay? Is there an opportunity for us to be that agent? Okay, if they say, no, we're not looking to do anything right now, nothing you can do to help us, say, cool. Is there an agent that you would work with if you were to do something? Okay, we wanna get this out in the open right now. You know, do you have an agent that you work with? If not, I would love to work with you whenever you decide to do something. Okay, so either way it goes, we wanna know if they have an agent. They wanna do something or if they don't. We wanna find out if they have an agent that they're gonna work with, that they are working with, whatever the case may be. Now, if they do wanna do something, they don't have an agent, let's start working with them. Ask them more about it. If they're wanting to sell, you wanna see the property, you're gonna bring comps, you're gonna you know, try to figure out what it's worth, get a listing sign, take some pictures, put a sign up, a log box, get it on MLS, start calling everybody, send postcards out, circle prospect the neighborhood. <laughs> The list goes on and on from there, and that's really how you can kind of build some momentum because you're gonna take that listing, you're gonna start calling all the owners around that property, which I teach you how to do in the 90-day action plan and in the, the course at zerodiamond.com. It's all right there for you. Where to get the phone numbers, the scripts to use, the whole nine yards. But this is how you build momentum in the business. You build off of listings and sales. Now, if they don't wanna do anything, we're gonna ask them if they have an agent. They're gonna say yay or nay, whatever. Say, cool, well look, you know, I, I would love to work with you if you ever decide to do anything. Um, make sure you have their email and their cell phone number and just say, hey, I'll just stay in touch with you, man. Have a good day, we'll talk to you soon. Bam! Okay, so we're using calling our sphere for so many reasons, right? We're getting into a conversation. We're practicing to become comfortable talking to people on the phone. We're seeing if there's a possible deal to be had deep into the conversation after we've caught up and talked about everything in life. 
Okay, then we want to get their information so that we can start our database. This is the beginnings of our database. There's so many reasons you need to do this. Okay, so once we do this, we, we start our database, okay, we're going to start a weekly email. Okay, the weekly email should be the foundation of your business forever. That's the foundation of your personal brand. Everything else is stacked on top of that. Okay, I'm going to do a bunch more videos on my weekly email, strategy behind it, why it should be the foundation of your business and your personal brand. And I'm also going to make more videos for brand new agents getting into the business so, so you can have an idea of things that you need to do, things you need to think about, so on and so forth. But that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got a lot out of it. If there's anything in the world I could do for you, hit me up on Instagram, DM me, I answer every single message there. So reach out and let me know what in the world that I can do for you. Let's go.